Greetings, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and this is an American Civil War that we're looking at. So right now, we can't really do too much. Last time we took out New England, we saw, the, for now, the conscription crisis. Uh, like I said, for the moment in Canada, we have a compromised economic plan, which doesn't look too bad, and we're trying to expand the rail system, even though America is, well, not having a good time, and the Peru-Bolivian Confederation has been restored, apparently. The dreams of Santa Cruz is fulfilled once more, but we got quite a few comments to go through. That's a big South American boy. But anyways, uh, someone recommends I intervene in the war. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing that. I, I, we can't possibly have syndicalists just south of the border of us. That, nope, 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 no can do. Oh, the annual IEDC review. The time is coming to review our participation in the IEDC and to make our annual contribution towards the organization. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with this. Stop the Southern Syndicalists. Oh. Is in the verge of winning the Civil War in the South. While they are strong, we must face them now or risk facing them later. Once they've recovered and gathered their full strength. We cannot afford to let the International have a world power on our southern border. May God forgive us what we must do, but the time must has come to invade the South. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. We need to do crossing the border focus. All owned states are also controlled, probably by them as well. Does not have sp spirit divided nation, crippling strikes. Can declare war against them. One of the following must be true. The CSA is at less than 20% surrender progress and controls at least 25 states. God dang. That's a lot. Uh, so we can suppress the exiles. Eh. We can do stuff here. Eh. Invite Puerto Rico into the IEDC? Yes, please. And anything else on there? Nope. Anything I want to do here? We do probably want to go to war economy, but let's go and spend this stuff. 50 political power. 25, invest nothing. We'll do 50. We'll show the world, or the rest of the faction, that, you know, we're serious about this, but Panama sees this the canal. Upon the start of the American Civil War, Panama took a 13-mile-long Panama Canal zone from the U.S., officially to safeguard it from radicalism. This could be advantageous for us, as we can demand the Panama either join the Entente or hand over the canal, and they would not be in a good position to refuse. Demand the canal outright, demand they join the Entente and redirect some trade to the Entente. Uh, I don't mind them. We get political power and stability. Leave them alone. Mm. We might need that, to be honest with you. We might, we might not. Demand they join the Entente and redirect some trade to the Entente and the IEDC advisors. Our contribution to the IEDC allows us to take advantage of their pool of advisors, the benefit from which is greater, depending on how much we contributed to the group. How should we use them for the next year? Oh, I, I, I like this. If we, if we had a 100 political power, the bonuses would be better. Because I remember using this when I was either playing as R Romania or Serbia. I can't remember, but these are actually not too bad. 20% more construction speed is not bad, especially the way we're going. We could help out with more dock, dockyard output, which isn't bad, per se. Improved cruiser hulls. Uh, I mean, they're not great. They're not bad, like cruisers. Uh, just going to reset that. Yeah, sonar, man, come on. Uh, what are you paying me like this? That's all I can invest in? Yeah, remove that. Get something over here as well. Remove our guns. Um, just gonna put that on for now. That's all we can really afford. Dockyard output. I'm thinking, nah, man, that's not gonna be worth it. Uh, let's do that as well. Canadian fleet. The economy would be bad. More resource efficiency gain actually would not be a bad thing to do, but it only helps with our steel. You get less consumer goods and more factory output, which is really nice. Or you can just build things faster. I'm thinking for the long term right now, if we get 20% more construction speed for this... Instead of June 1st, it'll be updated. And sure, maybe we can get 3% less. Uh, is it more factories now, or you can build things faster. I don't think we're going to go just build things faster for a year. I, I usually like choosing that path. So, now it's May 27th. It didn't help out a ton, but you know what? For a year, that's awesome. Puerto Rico joins, agrees to join, and they invested 25 political power as well. Very good. Very, very good, actually. 75 so far. And Panama didn't declines the terms. Despite our highly generous terms, Panama's declined to request a... Uh, have the Panama Canal in our sphere of influence. We can either admit defeat or prepare an invasion. How strong are they? They don't seem that strong. We can prove to the world we're not going to tolerate that type of behavior from other people. Uh, do we have Marines? We have Militia. For the love of God, why do we have Militia? Yes, we do have technically have Marines. Uh, they're not great, though. Nah. 18 combat width. 18 combat width or 15 combat width. With They do have artillery in that group. This one does have artillery, though. Uh, which one has more soft attack? I'll go with either one has more soft attack. 76. This has more soft attack, and this has more breakthrough. So, we're going to use the ones that are 18 combat width. So, down here. You've chosen incredibly poorly, uh, Panama. That is not good for you. Hopefully, we can actually naval invade. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, what? No. I hate when the game clicks on that. I don't care about the air base. Uh, just come from Puerto Rico. To invade, uh, we can invade there. That's going to take 
Yeah, we can't do that, so we have to own that. Invade the capital. And we'll actually use... Actually, you know what? We'll use everyone here. That'd be okay with us. Oh, Panama. Oh, Panama. No, 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 no. I don't understand why we have to go through the canal. Why can't you just go through this side? Invade from there. There you go. You could try that, but... Uh, can we do that? No, we cannot. Can we, do, can we do that? No, we cannot. Can we do that? No, we cannot. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Why? Why does it take so long? Uh, keep landing more soldiers. If we can get to David, that'd be good as well. So, there you go. And do one more. These guys aren't the best soldiers, but it's what we got. And it's going to show the world that Canada does, does not mess around. And how many days have we got? And you guys got to make sure you're, you're the best of the best. Uh, let's give it a couple days. Return of the King. We don't need to see that. An actual conscription. We will do that eventually. Uh, we have... That's hard to read. But 10 days. 10 days left. Okay, so we've got enough infantry equipment, sea and rail expansions, thank you very much. The army takes power in the Philippines, so we have no influence over there. I'd like to do this, and do economic recovery, because I want to get rid of the Great Depression really badly. General Motors Canada. Uh, so this is, this is a, another comment from yesterday. You should take this, this event, or this focus, I mean, so that we can reduce the amount of natural resources, or the resources that we want to trade for. So if we did this, this would actually be really beneficial to us, so we don't have to trade, away for fac trade our factories away for other stuff, but at this point, ooh, the intervention debate. Let's, let's just immediately do that, because I want to destroy the Reds. You know, it's one thing if the PSA wins, if the federal government wins, great. If the combined syndicates win, though, it's GG for us. If the AUS wins, which they probably won't, it could be worse, it probably won't be great, though. The possibility has been raised in the House of Commons that we should recognize one of the competing factions in American Civil War, and offer them support in the form of volunteers and guns. It would be sure to upset the others, but... To stand by and do nothing seems like it could, could court disaster. And then we'll do that one. Eyes to the south. Mm. Reinforce Ottawa, Montreal, Vancouver, Halifax. Hey, get actually 1% more recruitable population. That's nice. That's actually very, very nice. Okay, so since we're here, i got to take a look at this. Because this is six. Six? What, what's the point of even having you in the army then? At that point, I'm just going to convert you to infantry divisions one. I, I, I don't care. Like, the militia is just such trash in my view. I mean, it's one thing you're playing like... Maybe the Soviet Union and the Germans are about to win, and you need to put soldiers on the front, but... No, 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 no. Have I learned anything from playing Hearts of Iron 2, or the Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron game? Militia is okay, it has effects, but... Mm. Trade with America, though. The Dominion of Canada relies a great deal on its trade routes that go to the United States. While the Civil War has benefited us in some ways, namely that for the orders of Canadian goods from abroad have increased as American resources have become un unreliable, the fact is that many of our exports have gone to America itself and have always gone to America itself. And with our biggest customer now an unreliable destination, our economy is left reeling and attempting to figure out what to do until the Civil War has ended. Aw, oh, crap. I should have chosen the construction speed bonus then. That's not good. Yeah, I'm not clicking on that. No. Yeah. Oh, I should have made my navy go onwards. To hell with you, Panama. Oh, God. We're going to need more fuel. Crap. Uh, I don't think we can f field all these guys at the same time. So just take one, two, three... There you go. Uh, actually, with that, can we actually do war economy then? We cannot. Unexpected aid arrives. Aware of our trouble pacifying the Panamanians, the Costa Rican government has offered their ports and free access across their lands to help us in taking down Panama. In exchange, they expect us to protect them from other nations in the region should the needs arise. Uh, they help us out. Hey, they join the Entente. You know what? That's kind of okay, since I know Nicaragua and Central America is not having a good time. If that happens, we can actually defend down here as well. That's fine with me. That's actually totally fine with me. Oh, invite Costa Rica? Yes. Yes, please. After this, we'll probably invest in someone else. Russia announces her ambitions. I don't really care about Russia right now. Uh, as you can probably tell, we got some bigger fish to fry. Costa Rica agrees to join. Awesome. So, now, even though I'd love to invest in myself, we're going to invest in... I'm not going to do South Africa, because they're probably going to fall into a civil, union, civil war as well. I'd like to do India... But we're going to go ahead and do Australasia, because it's right there. So, we'll do that one next. See, we're not just doing ourselves. We're doing everyone everyone here. The death of Philip Snowden. He, age 73, passed away in his house in Tilford, Surrey. The trader and the chairman of the Union of Britain's talk. Snowden has been remembered among the royalists as a synonym for treachery. Although the socialists in Britain mourn his death, in Canada his funeral has become a single bright day in this dark period of history. The devil's dead. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah, that's right, Canadian military. Canadian Armed Forces, doing a great job. Oh, you actually... Oh, I could have just gone there. Uh, whoops. Ah, oh, crap. Now that hurts us. Well, actually, that's not too bad. We still have 15 and plus 2. I'll gladly take it. 
the intervention debate. The prospect of intervention. Par Parliament has begun a tense debate over whether the Canadian government should recognize one of the warring factions in the south, of the, which is should be called the real America. As a tricky situation, as doing so will anger the other factions, potentially leave us with a hostile victor in the south, but even worse is the prospect of the so-called CSA winning the day. We cannot be expected to fight wars elsewhere with a syndicalist government sitting directly to the south, can we? For now, though, support merely means directing the Entente to send volunteers and equipment, but if we pick a side, some suggest our getting drawn into the conflict will soon become inevitable. And we already took up Cologne. All right, we already have half the uh, canal. Go to Panama. And go this way. Oh, we should not get involved to hell with that idea. The federal government, of course, is the only legitimate one. Um, We recognize a PSA. Ooh. I like th this one. The PSA might be the best. I mean, with MacArthur taking power over in Washington, D.C., it doesn't seem too democratic, and if we support him, there's no guarantee that he's going to be uh, uh, very peaceful with us, or very cooperative. With the PSA, though, they are market liberals, and they like, at the end of the day, they just want to make money. So, they actually have volunteers from Russia as well. This American Union state has gotten volunteers from probably Germany, Argentina, CSA, well, we already know about them. Oh, I want to do MacArthur, because Washington, D.C. is actually kind of stable right now. But once that falls, Denver falls, we're going to the PSA then. I'm sorry, MacArthur. I'm so sorry, but it has to be done. But let's invest in uh, New England. So, we responded to the request for intervention in New England. But now the question that faces Parliament is, what do we do with the land that now we're not occupying? Do we release the puppet, or do we keep it for now? I don't know, but this war should end pretty, honestly, pretty soon. So, when, once we take Panama out. Okay, we took it. Okay, thank you very much for playing, Panama. This is why I said you should come join us. You should just give us a panel. Just join us. We'd have to kill you off. And now, uh, everyone, go home. Stop doing what you're doing. Go home and repair. Stop using up the fuel. And everyone in the army, um, yeah, get ready to go. Y'all gonna have to be real quick with your operations. And we actually have enough guns ready. Of course, we need more light tanks, but that's fine with me. Uh, let's see. Since we did that, that's good. We got Panama. I knew we could. Give it one day. All right, let's support this PSA. Let's just go stuff. Now, we tried to do this at the end of the last episode, and it didn't work out so well. So, let's see if we can do it any better now. Guerrilla fighters, skirmishers. The Marines are just too small combat width to do anything. Eight? That's that's not enough. These are only ten, but the armor might just barely be enough to do some damage. But we don't have enough light tanks, so here's the idea. These are six combat width. Military police isn't bad. That does give you more defense and slightly more breakthrough. I'm going to send one thing of tanks. It might be good, it might not be good. I'm going to send you two as well. You can be the rear guard, kind of. And you'll be led by... Hmm, we're gonna, there's a lot of mountains over there. Where well, we're going to send them. Bert. And at least Nevada's part of them, so... Some volunteers. Air volunteers. Bert. Ah, uh, now you will allow it. That is good. And this way, since we only sent one thing of tanks, they won't use hopefully that much fuel. 1937 Dutch elections, very cool. Yeah, oh, now Denver's been cut off from D.C. It's weird that Denver's the capital, not D.C., but whatever. Uh, the Savoy Yard crisis resolved. No World War this year. Just World War America. Anything else we could do here? Ah, oh, we can build it here if we... That's good news of three more civilian factories. Is that really worth it? The popularity of the modern crisis, though. Uh, the, a recent death within the greater royal family, a young cousin of King Edward's, who's been serving with the Canadian military, has gained a great deal of sympathy and attention from the Canadian public. There's a sense among the many that the royals are truly part of the Dominion of Canada, willing to shed blood alongside the Canadian soldiers in a pursuit of a common goal. Wonderful. Yes, death is wonderful, I guess. Ah, yes. Another military factory. Great. We want tactical bombers. We're going to need more tanks. We just don't have steel. Jesus Christ, we need more steel. Continue, we're going to need more. Well, we're going to need tanks for steel and infantry equipment. I want a few more tanks, but we're going to need a lot of guns where I'm going with my military. With our military, really. Because we're going to make a lot of guns so that we can actually make good, better divisions. I'm thinking 40 combat with divisions. These garrisons? Straight trash. We already have horses here. We don't need anything else. We already have these types of divisions, too, so we can just do some. I don't really care. Whatever. That's fine enough. That's actually a lot better. We just don't have the tanks for what we need. We don't have the resources, man. Oh, Canada. Why? Actually, I should have done this a little bit later, actually, probably. The Yankee Rebellion has, become, has started. Wow. Group Machine Tools, 1937. I'm going to... We're already trying to get more extraction. Uh, do we have any synthetic refineries, actually? 
Supply is always good to look at. But resource wise. Um how do we see that? Uh, let's see. How do I actually see that? I forget which oh. Um civilian factory, civilian, naval dockyards, naval dockyards. Civilian Ontario. Uh, there's not I don't think we have any of these yet. That would be actually very, 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 very beneficial. But fuel again from refineries, we could probably do excavation as First, we're going to go to war immediately anyways. Armored cards would actually be pretty darn nice. Better marines I want to get as well. Special forces, but that's still ahead of time, which I don't want to do yet. This would be very important. we got to get field hospitals eventually, but we don't have the support equipment for that yet. Oh, there's so many things I want to do, but we're so limited. Street destruction, we're not going that way. We're going to go operational integrity. That's the way we got to go. Uh, radar would be nice as well. Industrially, I don't know if we'll be able to support. Just go excavation too. I'm sorry, that was a long little period there. I was just trying to think of what we wanted to do. Okay, Central Asia is having problems. Orders to in Puerto Rico. While Puerto Rico still labors under, under Canadian control, the Puerto Rican military has asserted enough control over its own borders. The semblance of autonomy is now possible. This is not independence, far from it. But it does mean that they no longer have to rely on Canadian troops to secure the borders, and thus are not so tightly under our control. So, I was recommended in the comments yesterday that I go down the absolutist path and invoke the War Measures Act, which we might have to do once we raise up conscription, but that's going to be later on, obviously, since Quebec will be in flames, when we raise conscription, and they won't like it. Oh well, but someone also recommended that I elect conservatives in the next election. So, we'll see what happens. I, I, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen, it just it is what it is. Clashes in Windsor. Oh crap, another group. So, the city of Windsor uh, lies directly across from Detroit, a stronghold of the syndicalist CSA. We've suspected for a while now that syndicalist agents have crossed the border sec secretly. Some were the refugees, and now so it seems that the belief has been vindicated with the city being engulfed in clashes between industrial workers and the police. The police say these sympathizers are being spurred on by syndicalist agents. Whether this is true or not, the violence has continued for several days and only now just has been contained. Syndicalists in Canada? This cannot be. Oh, crap, that's not good. Oh, another division, though. Yeah, that is good, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, was, there was a comment yesterday asking, Why did the French... The quote... Back French don't want to help the French, their French brothers in Africa. Like they would be, why, don't, why aren't they more gung ho about the French Canadians helping out the French brothers all the way over there? That's a good point to bring up. I'm not really sure. So, I guess they don't really identify with them that much. I mean, they're French, but they're not the same French. Mine is 15%. That's not bad. Yeah, promotion costs. Edmund, Bernard. I've used you before in TNO. You're not bad. You're actually an aggressive assaulter. Oh, what are your details like? Thorough planner, okay. And your details are well, you don't have thorough planner. You could have it. And he does have another upgrade. I don't, it's only 10% less. Let's go with Montgomery for now then. Alright, so the federal government's probably going to pass away. That being said, resource wise, would it be better for the PSA, I keep clicking on the wrong thing, to get the fuel down in Texas or focus on the little bit of resources in the Midwest? Frankly, that's not really an option. I have to go to the the American Union state route, uh, to be honest with you. Because California actually has a lot of fuel itself, so they're probably fuel, fuel sufficient for now. If anything, what I can do, I'm probably going to head over here. Because fighting through New Mexico is going to be god-awful for our tanks. Let's be realistic. And we got to save our tanks. And getting to the the hills, I mean, there's still mountains around here in the Dakotas, don't get me wrong. But there's more plains over here, and it's such a massive area that it will probably be better for us in our little expedition to help them out over there. So, support the PSA, the caucus crisis, no one cares, Georgia, I don't really care. we got things that are going on in this part of the world, this part of the continent, that we've got to focus more on this. Washington, D.C. is doing okay, but the question of New England. Now that we've intervened in New England, a number of Canadian ministers have met with the leaders of these states regarding how to keep order. The states have suggested setting up a provisional government for the region, one that would, at least initially, be under our control and brought into the Entente Alliance. Some members of the government, however, have suggested it would be better if they simply occupied and administered the territory ourselves. Americans... Uh, they say can sometimes be of suspect loyalty, grateful or not, their goals may not mirror our own, though. Set up the provisional government, set up the provisional government and play as New England, or continue with military occupation, we lose war support, and they get less compliance. Um, I really don't want to lose the factories here, man. It's not much, but good lord, I want to keep them. But let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, that's not bad, more stability, more support. Uh, I want to do all that stuff, I really do. But eyes to the south. It seems likely that we will intervene in the American Civil War at one point, at some point. Before we do that, however, we must prepare our defenses and lessen the chance that any such intervention will end up being pure folly on our part. We get the looming war, better mobilization speed, more recruitable population, max volunteer force divisions plus three. Yes, yes, yes. Home of the new home of the free. All right, so we're gonna keep New England under us for as long as possible, and then I'm probably just gonna release them. 
Oh, the royal address of the Entente. We will add war support in the Dominion of Canada and all allied countries based on his popularity. Which is very low. Hmm. I don't know about that, man. The fate of Panama. Oh, yeah, we gotta liberate you too. But not yet. I'm keeping you under wraps. So we got two weeks. Oh, wait. I get some planes too. But we don't have that many planes. Oh, God. How many planes can I send? 59. God dang it. Uh, cut you in half then. Come to the... Can we not send him to the southwest? Ah, dispersed industry. Great, 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 great. Uh, fuel from refineries. You know what? Just in case, let's begin doing some of our naval doctrine because I do not want to get, get caught with my pants down, which sounds really terrible out of context or in any context. But we're going to focus on base strike because we have carriers. So keep an eye on this. 10 days. That's fine. We should have our planes here. Great. Can you come over here? Yes, you can. And help out. That'd be very, 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 very good. Maklik, declare war on Tibet. Asian stuff we don't really care about right now because we can't really focus on it. Royal address of the Entente, Mongolia. Well, you're falling apart, which is fine with me. All right, let's look at this. Okay. I don't know why that event is so large. Get our guys up there. Excavation 1 is done. Great, great, great. Air Doctrine, going to do some battlefield support now. And operational integrity. Uh, yeah, air mission experience gain plus 5%. It's not much, but we'll take it. Uh, where are my divisions? Yeah, actually, let's do this for two. Set you on high, that'd be good. Gonna wait till the very last day. Mannion replaces Bennett as a conservative leader. With their loss in the last election, it's no surprise that the conservative party has turned to new leadership. With the blessing of King Edward, Ontario MP Robert Mannion has stepped up and taken the leadership reins of the party from R.B. Bennett. Let's see if this improves things. We'll see what happens. Yeah, my goal is just kill off as many syndicals as fast as possible, because... I don't like them. Complaints over labor camp conditions. The economic relief camps set up by the government have been at the source of considerable criticism as of late, mainly due to the low rate of pay received by the workers as well as their living conditions. The unemployed men working in the camps say that they cannot even earn enough money to return to their former laws and get regular jobs, forcing them to remain in the camps indefinitely. Anger has been rising and therefore are demands for the government to do something about it. Well, what do you expect? They're government camps. It's time to shut down the camps. Ooh, economic relief camps. We get political power from that. Where are the camps? Oh, I don't know, man. 10% is pretty nice. I like 10%. Improve the camp conditions. Change popularity of market liberals. Improve the conditions if we can. Three days. We got two days. One day really left. Oh, I don't want to do this, but set up the provisional government. Oh, we lost factories. Oh, why do you hurt me? Oh, we're still doing okay, though. 15 and 1? I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm okay. Totally okay with that. Okay, cool. Sijuan, I wish we didn't send just fighters. Actually, okay, the tanks are up. There's one tank division here. Please go faster. Please go faster. 6.4. That's not too bad, actually. Nice. All right, get on up here, boys. We got some syndicalists to get rid of. The Lord will forgive you for what you're going to have to do. <laughs> oh, man, let's hope so. Uh, invite New England? Yes, definitely. Actually, who are they led by? A beautiful New England. Actually, can I re requisition your forces? Yes, I can. Uh, request garrison support? Yes. Uh, they're led by Joseph William Martin Jr. America's Darkest Hour. Oh, they give us 33,000 manpower. Thank you. I've never played the New England country. And whenever I play them, I'm going to play them twice. Once in Kaiserreich and once in Kaiser Redux, which I've actually... I might have tried once, maybe. I don't know, in my own time. I don't see what happens. I'll definitely play them eventually, so... Investment in Canada. Oh, we have 100 here. We did that last time. The French Empire, Union of South Africa, all these places. You know, we'll, we'll invest in India because they can be pretty good as well. Because we don't want to show that we're just only investing in ourselves, even though that honestly would be the smartest and most logical decision we can make. But we're just going to show that we're okay. Okay, come on, get in there. Go, 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 go. New England agrees to join. Thank you, New England. Go, 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 go. Yes! Can they pierce me? Can they pierce me? Was this a mistake? No, it was not a mistake. Oh, they're attacking me from two different sides. Keep that armor up, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Make more tanks. God dang, we need more steel. Uh, can I ex Why are we on export, folks? We gotta go to limit exports. So here's the goal. We're gonna come here and try to encircle these guys. We'll see what happens, though. Ah, I got the infantry up there, too. Nice. You bunch of syndicalist scum. Go eat some... something. I don't know. Go eat your... Steel belt, I don't know. 13 days left, Panama. Good. Oh, come on up. Oh. Well, actually, it's not a bad idea. Actually, you guys hold. Hold. We could beat the snot out of them, but it might be better to go there. Could you actually... You probably can't get there in time to do that. Yeah, you probably can't. If anything, then... 
You know what we're gonna do? We're just volunteers. You come here. We're gonna see if we can surround those divisions. Including the infantry. We're not expected to hold the front line. Like, if I was playing as an American faction, I would be expected to hold the front line, but we're not going to do that. No. French tensions lessen. Great! With full conscription having not been manifested, the tensions between the French and Canadians and the English Canadians have been slowly lessening. Though the Quebec Quebecois do not trust the Canadian government not to change their minds, for now things have quieted considerably. Thank goodness. We got about a week left for this. That's fine with me. Just keep them in place there. Okay, now they're attacking our tanks. Um, You know what? Let them come over. And then you know what? We'll smash the crap out of them. The fall of DC. This is why I did not support Big Mac Daddy over there. But the PSA is not looking too bad. Even though, honestly, this. Even though they took these dates, there's, this is almost none of the population of the country. Like, it looks important. It looks great. Don't get me wrong, but. It's not going to be enough. Uh, what artillery types do we have? Uh, that's, that's going to ruin artillery, probably. Actually, no, it won't. We could save on guns. Save on guns for now, then. A big old thing of guns now. 2,000, not bad eyes to the south, though. Great. More population. I love it. Crossing the border. The time has come. We must prepare to cross the southern border and wade into the mess that America has become. We cannot stand idly by, though we must also remember that times have changed since the War of 1812. Yeah, it's more than 100 years after that. This time, we are facing a foe that outnumbers and outguns us by several measures. Oh, are you kidding me? The industry of these countries way out exceeds Canada right now. 56? What is it? Look at that. Look at that. Just where's the factory number? I can't see. 82. Yeah, that's not that much more, but that's that's pretty good. We don't have New England, which is 16. The American United States has up to 45. Yeah, Canada, you are... It's They're lucky that America split into a, one, two, three, four, five different nations. Even though Hawaii, I wouldn't really call them nations. Let's be real, they have a factory. <laughs> but anyways, I love Canada. I love Canada. That's like my second, third, 20th favorite nation. I'll right, go up there. Just go, just go ahead. They're already retreating anyways. If you find some militia, just crush them with the tanks. Run them over. Oh, crap. Did we do Panama yet? Oh, whoops. I failed it. We lost ability. Well, I guess Panama is now uh, Canadian. Forever, because for some unknown reason, you cannot liberate countries later on. I still don't understand that, actually, since we're here. Like, why can't I release them later on? Why is that not a decision? That's probably my biggest... One of my biggest gripes with... Uh, Kaiserreich, like, why can't we release them later on? Because sometimes, in the heat of the moment, it's just not feasible to release a government like that. It just doesn't make sense. Right, I mean, right now, it's okay to. It would be fine, and I just made a mistake, but... In the heat of the moment, it's just not worth doing sometimes. Oh, don't let them in, don't... No, 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 we want to go here. I'm cutting off two divisions, because they're going up there. Go, 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 go. Put the pressure on... Actually, we can circle them right there first. But I wanted to be a difficult person. Actually, you know what? You do that there. We can do two encirclements for the price of one. Well, two encirclements for the price of two. Which isn't really much of a deal, but whatever. But hey, at least no one's going to take the Panama Canal. Hopefully. Look at that. Beautiful. I know attacking over river is a bad idea, but you're going to attack right there immediately. You're actually going to do that. Uh, then you're going to double back. Because you're going to immediately begin attacking right now. This way you don't get encircled. Uh, if you could actually just attack that way. That'd be great. Suggestions from Walter Guinness and the Commission. He and the rest of the Commission have come up with a suggestion to help the situation within the West Indies, and it is a two-year fund into the West Indies to help them along their new multitude of projects to help the region. While this will certainly take a toll on, on our income, it should serve could serve significantly towards helping calm down the rampant socialist movements within the West Indies, uh, along with helping them develop their industries along this way. Uh, we shall help them out. That's fine with me. It's only that's not that much political power, so we'll gladly help them out. Great job, guys. Great job. Now, kill these guys off. Oh, they wanted to move. I saw them wanting to move, but sympathy strikes across Canada. No! Across the nation, numerous labor unions have risen up in sympathy strikes for the CSA. The PS, the SBA, they say, has been unfairly characterized as tyrannical when it is merely combating the larger tyranny of capitalist, uh, capitalism, and which has run rampant. They want the Canadian government to stop the fear-mongering against the syndicalists. The strikes have been unruly and disruptive, and in several cases have resulted in violent clashes with the RCMP. Several arrests have been made, and the RCMP is keeping a close eye on strike organizers. What do you mean we're being uh, fearful? Jack Reed was a president, and then he rose up against the federal government. What do you want me to say? They were violent. They they became extremely violent. I cannot say too much, but to state the truth. Oh, that's beautiful. We over. Oh, the Russians overran them. Thank you, Russia. 
Go and take them out, tanks. I'm going to go ahead and send the infantry this way as well. We're going to get North Dakota. I was, I was going to say we're going to get North Dakota for the Canadians. But we're going to get North Dakota for the PSA. Which will help shore up some divisions, which is going to be very nice. PSA is looking really good now. Uh, so, we are in, in Encirclement City here. So the plan is I could go here, to there, to there. Or we could go here, to here, to here, to here. But we don't have the, that many divisions. Uh, crossing the border. Actually, can I send more divisions? Because we, we might just go to war with them, straight up. I could send more volunteers. Ooh. Oh, re reinforce Ottawa. Land forts? No, I'm not going to reinforce this place. That's a waste of political power. Address? Meh. Anything else here? 75? That's not enough. We could do that stuff, but no. We can support the PSA. No, we're good. I'm going to save up political power so we can get lower my uh, output. Our trading output. And since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. There we go. Go all the way down there. You know what? Just redo it. From here, all the way down. Oh, everyone's ready to go. We are ready to G. Go, 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 go. So yeah, we'll probably attack here first, actually, so. Because we can one, two, three. Boom. Especially with light tanks at our disposal and they can't pierce us. Good. Give it just a little bit more planning bonus. Does anyone have enough upgrades? Is Montgomery... Go with max planning. Even though throw faster planning would be more ideal right now. It's okay. 2.3 every day. Give it a few seconds. Three. Two. Hold on. We got more guns, maybe. Infantry Division 2. That's not looking bad. We don't have enough artillery to do a, do it again, so it is what it is. Uh, Marines. We need more Marines on these. At least make them 10 combat with it, at the very least. Jesus Christ. So bad. Two. One. Right, let's go. You're just going to go down there immediately if you can. You should be able to win, especially with the tanks hopefully leading the way, so... Force the attack. I don't care about this damage. Good. Keep it up. Help us out. Good. Awesome. Get those light tanks in there crossing the border. Oh boy. Oh boy. Suffering from a refugee crisis. Oh, well, yeah. Return of the King will do that eventually. Address the army. Army XP would not be bad. Uh... Oh, this would... Oh, be so nice to get down here. Oh, yeah. More division organization. That'd be great. Oh, God. I want to do this stuff. But we can't do it. We just can't. We're going to do... Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, more construction speed. Yeah, we got to do our CP rail expansion. It was only the promise of a transcontinental rail network that brought the western provinces into the Dominion. Maintaining and expanding this network will help ensure our continued control over the region and will serve us should we ever require large-scale freight between both seas. Canadian Pacific Railway, build Crown Corporations, get more infrastructure, that'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh god, you're so slow. You're so slow. You're so slow. Actually, just get in here so we can get rid of these guys. So circle two divisions. Come on. West Indies wants our assistance. Oh, they're... Oh, why are they attacking me now? Come on. Oh, so a new leader of Western India has come to Ottawa. After the magnificent ceremony of pledging allegiance to the king, a series of diplomatic meetings took place, uh, in which, after three days, visit has come to an end, uh, our old alliance has strengthened even more. But at the end of the visit, representatives of the West Indies began to put forward increasingly bold demands. We must decide whether we will send them demanded help and allow our relationship to blossom. Also, it will allow to strengthen the new government in Kingston. But is the stability of the political scene in West India more important than the interests of Canadians? Further requestment. Uh, you know what? We'll help them out for now. I'm expecting a lot in the future war, so... Once these guys win up here, they'll be fine. We can't win when we're getting attacked in the butt. So, but now we can win with strength up here. Don't kill them off too fast. Stop attacking me! Help out the attack here. Just to keep defending and help out the attack. Federal collapse? Shocking. Not really. Over here. Intervene. I'm going to destroy these divisions first, and then we're going to invade. What the heck? Um... Well, the peace deal happened. This is not ideal. I'm going to pull my soldiers out immediately. Let's intervene, boys. Oh, stop training. Stop training. For the love of God, stop training. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Get in there. Get in there. Can you hold? And Okay, you got... You... Uh, I want to intervene. Can I intervene? Oh, no, we have 28 days. you got to hold out for 28 days, boys. you got to hold out. This is not good. Uh, you actually still might be able to do okay if you do this as well, so. 
you might be able to smash them through and get those guys Hobbit, or they're back again. The George Alwyn and Unwin Publishing House has put out a new book by British emigre J.R.R. Tolkien, who has returned to South Africa following the revolution. It tells the story of Bilbo Baggins, a small, strange creature called a Hobbit, and who goes on an adventure fe featuring wizards, dwarves, giants, and goblins, and a fire-breathing dragon before returning home a wealthy man. The tale has already received widespread critical acclaim, and the Tolkien has been nominated for literary prizes. There's been a hint that he's working on something far longer and larger, but the author's notorious perfectionism might well delay its publishing. A delightful little story. Well, maybe not little. <laughs> Definitely not little. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. Come on, gotta save those divisions, good. Hey, we linked up with them. You know what? I could be bold. And we could still maybe encircle these enemies here, maybe? I don't want to abandon this position, but you guys can probably move fast enough to link up with everyone else here. Never mind. Kill them off. We got we got the supplies we needed. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Come on, take them out, take them out, take them out. We did it. Hold. Actually, you, you go there. That's fine with me. Because we have to reorganize this. Getting attacked? Cool. Battle. Benjamin Katine, you ain't going to win, you son of a gun. Uh, hopefully not. Oh, they got... Oh, coming to French soldiers there. My goal is to get right there to destroy that division. The French Dachshunds lesson. Great. Awesome. That's really great, actually. 0.74 a day? Well, not ideal, but whatever. Oh, they want to cut us off. We are so close to being cut off. That is not ideal. We can't attack there. Oh, another division right before the wall stops? I think so. Come on. I will end the episode in 10 days, though. Just because I want to finish this up and have a good time. God, they're really trying to kill us off here, aren't they? Reinforce the position down south. Oh, God. Now they have more soldiers everywhere. And they actually have soldiers on the border? Oh, no. That's okay. We'll call New England as well. And we will push through Pennsylvania. I, like, I love Pennsylvania. It's an awesome state. Oh, yeah. They're definitely trying to kill us off here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. CP rail expansion. Economic recovery. We have to do that to get rid of economic depression. Finally, our initiatives have borne fruit. The era of depression is over. And we can move forward into prosperity once more. Glorious, my friends. Absolutely glorious. We're still building ourselves up, which is... Eh, that's okay. Canada intervenes in the American War. Yes, we are. And here we go. But, unfortunately, I'm sorry to do this, but we are going to end the episode here. And tomorrow, we shall begin crushing the CSA. But, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. we got some Austrians here in the PSA. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will take Chicago and help out the PSA some more. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.